Hi everybody, Team Mimics here and today I want to show you how to master the contrast in your color grading after the intro. Okay, did you ever ask yourself how the hell does a contrast slider works? And what does a pivot point exactly? How does it work? Trust me, every professional colorist knows about this topic. You can't become a really good colorist without understanding such things. I don't say that you should learn everything about color science and every theoretical background, but without theoretical basic knowledge about such things, you will never be able knowing exactly what you are doing. And that's exactly what I want to explain to you in this video. Let's start with this simple note. I've prepared a simple gradient from black to white. Now have a look at the waveform and the custom curve. In both you can see a straight line. This line represents the gradient from the absolute black in the bottom left corner up to the absolute white in the top right corner. This is the so-called S-curve. This line represents the contrast and color contrast in this case for black and white only. So if we now change our curve here, it affects the curve in the waveform immediately. The waveform scope is our monitoring tool, the curve itself here, our manipulating tool. As you can see, if I push my curve by grabbing this curve in the middle to the top, my gradient is affected and midtones gradient changes. This can you control in the waveform scope. As long as we working only with black and white, the waveform curve will look the same as our custom curve. Let's reset that. If I now bring this line more into the shape of an S-curve, you will see that I'm changing the overall contrast of this gradient image significantly. I think most of you already know what an S-curve is, so I'm not going to describe it in detail here. In general, the S-curve is an essential tool for almost everything if it comes to color grading. It makes, in this case, our darker grays more black and our light shades more white. In other words, we increased the contrast of this image. We can set these two points wherever we want. But as you can see, if I push and pull these points around, my contrast looks mostly very uneven or unbalanced. And the transition between black and white becomes sometimes very hard or harsh. So therefore, I advise you don't use the curve very often if it comes to contrast or exposure correction. So let's reset that. Now have a look how the curve is changing if I increase the contrast in the primaries. We achieve a very smooth and pleasant S-curve. Isn't that great? We don't have to push and pull points manually and dealing with roll-offs. We just can increase this little contrast slider here. Let's say we are not satisfied with our darker shades and we want to bring them up more to the lighter shades of gray. Nothing easier than that. Just grab the pivot slider and pull it down. Now we flatten the S-curve more in the lighter area and compress the darker area more. And our upper dark gray shades became more lighter. This is called a smooth highlight roll-off because the light tones decrease more slowly. So they become darker very slowly too. Same in the other direction. If I want to achieve a more harsh looking image, for example, just increase the value of the pivot, push it up. Now you will get a much smoother roll-off in the dark area, but on the contrary, a more harsh looking contrast in the lighter shades. And now a little exercise. Try to achieve such a smooth curve manually, just by using the custom curve tool. Set your points manually and try to replicate this beautiful and very smooth S-curve, which we have created just by adjusting the contrast and pivot in the primaries. 
you will see it's very hard to get such a smooth S-curve. And if you have to change the curve, it will be much harder than using just the contrast and pivot. And that's it. To be honest, it wasn't that difficult, was it? Without any basic theoretical knowledge, you will never go to the next level for your color correction skills. Maybe you have a wish for a certain topic for which I should do a tutorial. So let me know in the comments. And if you want to see more content like this, please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. Thanks for watching and listening. You all a great time. Bye.